Don't wanna take it slow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time So We are in North East The famous North East And we are at Calgary Drop-In Centre I think it's here I think there's a door here so we are here to see if we can pick up any free goods, you know, from the warehouse for our house. I know you guys are like, oh, you need to Walmart, Ikea, and stuff. We're going to go to the free goods center. So this is, um, this is me coming to the free goods center to look for free stuff. <laughs> um, I think here is for donors. I think we're in the wrong place. We're in the place for donations. Oh, okay. This place had really nice stuff, especially when it comes to kitchen utensils, dining tables, mattresses, um, kitchen equipment, baskets, and all that. And they are all for free. The only thing you have to pay for is transportation from that location to your house because most of the things that are there are really heavy you can't carry them alone except you have your own truck then that can work so sign up if you are new to calgary and take advantage of this the only thing that i couldn't take from here was the couch because it wasn't to my liking and i already ordered a couch from struck tube They are too big for us to carry a load. Okay. Yeah, so I, I will show you guys the things that we're able to take from here when I get home. see behind me a whole lot of load yes my cargo from nigeria has arrived it arrived yesterday but um it arrived late so i could not open it up yesterday but i'm going to go ahead and open it up today and i'm going to show you guys everything that i cargoed from nigeria to calgary alberta canada <laughs> so gosh guys it's just it's quite a lot i mean i didn't even know there was going to be this much but i'll set you guys down now and then open up the whole thing with you guys by the way this cargo was shipped um to me by tini cargo so if you're interested i'm going to leave maybe i'll maybe i'll leave her contacts in the description box for you guys hey i can see my pump oil <laughs> the one i got from ninja wow if you've watched my movie to canada video you can see why i bought this palm oil they are now right here with me in Canada. Let's go. Wow. Hey, I'm so happy. I've not been able to make soup. Now I can make some soup. Yay. One, two, three, four, five. And then this the, this one they said that um um 
it kind of broke or something like that one of them broke in transit or something i don't know so they had to transfer into this small container this is my ogiri oh my god <laughs> i have a lot of ogiri wow this one is going to last me for a long time now. this one is big oh box two i have a feeling that this is the one that contains my fish you guys have seen a lot of these things that i bought in Nigeria. so it's not going to be I don't think there's anything that needs to be so much of a surprise. I'm right, always right. This is the one that contains the fish. Oh my goodness. Ah. Anyway, this is the fish. I can see some of the um, fish. Spoiling. No, not spoiling, but the. Oh. My attachment is also here. My braids. <laughs> they are also here. This is the hair I bought for braiding, expression here that I bought for braiding is in this cargo. So I can see some of those um, stuff that has to be in the fish. Do you get inside it? I think I need to remove it for the packaging. Those worms now. They have entered in. Hey, hey. I want to ask to bring them out. It's still nice. It's as if the rubber. It's a nylon. Hey, because there is a way to it. It has rules. I have the bitter leaf here. Dry. Dry bitter leaf. <laughs> the way I'm happy, eh? <laughs> Over this stuff. Nigeria to where? Canada. <laughs> My small motor and piece of baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will disturb my neighbors. Hey, Jesus. Sticks. This one, eh? Mm. Before I will finish using this one for banga. Mm. Oh, good. I go pound tire. And they said this. I don't know if it's. Anyway, I don't know if it is here in Canada. But I feel like if I even find it, it's going to be expensive. This makes me feel so good. Just reminds me of my house in Nigeria. Oh, look at how it was packed. You can see there was fog inside. You know, to to shield it. See me just she takes she took her time to really arrange these things for me. This is your opening box number three. Let us go. Hmm. This is box number three. I was like, I just think I know what is inside every box once I open it. <laughs> see packaging. Do you see how it's packaged? In a way that nothing is going to break. Hey, oh, chai. Oh, God. Hey, oh, chai. But you know, the strong shall survive. <laughs> well, the weak shall break. <laughs> so, look, I have one. I have number two here. See, I'm. Hey, I think it's one of the covers that broke or something. I don't care. Oh. Oh my god. Hmm. See, I have number three is here. I think that one broke. Yeah. Number four is here. In fact, see, five. How many of these pots did I cargo? In case you don't know, these pots are for banga soup or salad soup. I can't remember how many I cargo, but I can see that one is broken and I am not mad. <laughs> I am not angry at the one that's broken because hmm, I didn't know that only one pot is going to suffer the casualty. 
I thought more than one. I said, anyhow, let me just pack it. Even if it's two that survive, I'll be fine. But I have this big one here. I have this big one here. And I have the smaller one for soups. Like if I have more than one person I want to serve, I can easily do that now. So, am I mad? Nope. I'm not angry at all. Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly cargoed her yoga mat from Nigeria. <laughs> I have my exercise mat here. Yes, yeah, so I don't have money to be spending. I have one, I'll use it. Then I have my dry ugu here also, and my dry okazi here. They made it. If you know, you know, they're doing Chicago vegetables. I don't know if you know, but she told me that it's very dicey to cargo vegetables, that it might be removed from the cargo or anything like that. So I decided to risk it, you know, just to cargo it and see, you know. If it's going to work, she even said I may pay a fine if they find it in my cargo. But guys, I just decided to risk it because if I leave it there, what's going to happen to it? But if it comes here and it makes it here, it's good for me, you know. So I have my dry veggies here with me, ugu leaves, and my dry okazi because the dry bitter leaf I showed you guys earlier. So yeah, I feel like nothing was taken out of my cargo and it's just. It's all based on how she packed it for me, honestly. Box number four. Let's go. <laughs> no fish. Oh. But at this point, I don't know which fish it is, but I have two sets of fish. I have to reveal some things. So I'm counting again for this fish. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. These are our family pictures. Oh, they came. Our family pictures and other like things that we just couldn't leave behind. Yeah, we have this here. I have more dry bitter leaf. I have. Ajun Bise, as you can see, I put Ajun Bise slash delivery herbs. These are for pregnant women, like when they give birth, like you have to drink it so that your tummy can shrink. I brought my own copy in case. <laughs> in case, so, so I have more dry vitamin. Um, I have my books in here, books that I brought from Nigeria. I just packed it in this shoe box. So yeah, I have books. Let me show you guys. My important books, my most important books. Pack them. I have this tomato paste of which they said, oh, there's no need to bring tomato paste here. That there's a lot of tomato paste here, but I already bought it before I had that. So I have my own stash of tomato paste here for my job. Rice. Hey, hey. Mm. You guys. Please, come and see you. Somebody brought semolina from Nigeria to Canada. <laughs> Somebody forgot semolina. That person is me. Look at me. A whole 10 kg of semolina from Nigeria to Canada. After I finish making my soup, I will now make better semolina to stay down with it. I'm opening the last box now. I have a feeling that this one contains the best the rest of my ingredients, like food stuff. That's what this one should contain. <laughs> yes! Food! <laughs> food! Oh. oh my god, see my dried prawns. Hey! My dried prawns. I have this black pepper and the smell is still very strong black pepper um ufada rice you guys have seen a lot of these things in my movie video so i'm not going to train everything abacha bay leaves 
I have like yeah bay leaves here stock fish so when I said I'm going to make soup I was not joking what is this? this is for like wooden a wooden spoon like for turning gary and my dry periwinkles <laughs> eh, <wait. laughs> dry cocoa yam All my spices and everything needed. So, this is a rubo milled yam, milled yam for Amala. Milled yam. This is the leaves for Banga soup. I don't know Banga soup in English. I have more dry peppers in here. I don't know what the Banga soup is in English. My pepper soup Banga spice. Soup. Hey! Pepper soup. Oh. Hmm. Spices here are crazy. These leaves are for pepper soup too, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them. More red pepper for me. The one I have, I've not finished using it. This is ashes. So this is for a particular um, delicacy in Nigeria. Mm. More elubo. Which is the which I told you is the new yam for Amara, and then I have. Ooh, see, let me just give, let me just show you like this, because I'm tired. I have a jebugari, two packs of those a jebugari. So yeah, this is everything I found from Lagos, Nigeria to Calgary, Canada. Like I said before, in case you are, I want to keep these things up, but I need to come down and arrange them all where they are meant to be. <sighs> but like I said before, if you're interested in cargoing stuff from Nigeria to Canada, or I don't know, she will tell you though your location, just tell her your location. She will tell you if she can cargo to that location or not. So if you're looking to cargo internationally, oh, let me see. Okay, so. See you. She has it all here. So as you can see, the flags. I can think it's an Australian flag, Israel. The ones I can recognize: U.S., Canada, South Africa, Brazil, Germany, Ghana, France. What? Which flag? We'll see. I know. The, I know the. I'm not doing geography. So <laughs> I think this is Japan. I think. I think this is Japan. You get. So I'm showing you guys the flags of all the places that she can cargo to or just call her to ask you understand very easy Ooh, child. oh my food is here now i am spoiled for choice on what to cook if you want to cargo you just have to be patient you know if you are doing air cargo be patient um the time from when they pick it up to when it gets to you can vary so 10 days 11 days just be patient you will get your your goods if it's